Hello everyone and welcome to Sharon's Crafts and More. Today we are going to be making a flower wreath. My materials I have is this grapevine wreath, some plastic floral arrangement that I got from the summer grab bags last year at Michael's, wire cutters, a pair of scissors, and a hot glue gun, and a glue stick. I have a bunch of these floral arrangements and I'm going to show you how to do just this one. The other ones I already have taken apart and cut with the wire cutters to put on here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take this off, the paper, or the tags, throw this side, this one. to get the flowers out of the base, I just grab it, turn it, twist it, and pull it apart. Then I can unravel the tape. And it's that easy to take these apart. Okay, next what I have to do is I have to get all these bundles of flowers. I already pre-took all these apart. It was like six, probably five or six bundles that like those. And then I just organize them all together. Okay, I'm gonna trim these stems on here shorter. There we go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this burlap ribbon, nine feet of burlap ribbon that I purchased at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to unroll it, finish unrolling it, and I'm going to wrap it around this grapevine reef. I'm going to use a little bit of glue on my hot glue gun to hold this in place. Gotta be very careful with this, putting this on so you don't burn yourself. Put a little more. Okay. All right, now let's wrap this around. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it around like this. It's kind of tricky to do once you get it started, but and it gets easier as it goes on. Keep wrapping it. Okay, after that's done, you need to stretch it a little bit. Now I have to glue this end down so it does not come off. Press it down. Don't want to burn my fingers. Okay, I'll let that get hard and dry. Cool it down. Or cool down. Okay, now I'm gonna take these flowers that I trimmed, snipped them shorter, and I'm gonna put them in here. I'll apply a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to push them underneath the burlap ribbon. And kind of like play around with them to get them to go right. And I'm going to keep doing that.
just putting a little bit of glue on each of these and sticking them in there so they'll stay. to do I'm gonna put these in here like this I'll put that here. it doesn't have to be perfect you can just put them in any which way you want because these flowers are kind of like going all over so some more flowers and trim this bow. This is a bow I made on the Bodega bow maker. Maybe eventually one of these days I'll show up, make some bows and with the Bodega and put them on, on my channel. But I had this one already made from the ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use it and put it on the bow. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Let's see, I'll have to put glue. And just set it there and hold it down. Trim the tails on there and then fluff this up a little bit. All right, now I decided my wreath needs to have more color, so I'm going to use out of this, I'm going to trim this off of there and just use these little pieces. And I'm going to add these into underneath the ribbon in here. Add a little bit of glue. And I'm just going to push it right underneath the ribbon. I'll lift it up, put it underneath. That adds a little bit of color, extra color, like a light purplish color. I like to have colors, different color flowers. Makes it more cheery and springy and makes you smile. You have to be very careful with this glue so you don't burn your fingers doing this, lifting this up. And just push it right under there. There you go. And there my reef is done. This is a very easy project to do and it looks very nice for spring. Thanks for watching. 
And please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.